In this video, I will be sharing with you the next five steps, week two of five steps to probable change will lead to total transformation. So change yourself and change your life. It all starts with the awareness. Inevitably, you will not even have to make decisions about what to change. It will just happen. This week, we are focusing on awareness. And, and please watch the entire video through because step number five has a lot of weight behind it. It has the elements that are needed in order to move through these transformative changes while accepting what the outcomes will be. So Okay, so it's week two uh, in this video series, Five Steps to Probable Change. I quickly review last week's uh, five steps. First one was, I probably will, which I'm hoping that you have already uh, determined that you probably will do this. Uh, number two is small steps are best, remember? So small steps to success. Small steps are sustainable. Number three, don't compare. Remember, don't compare yourself to others. Number four was become aware of your thinking mind. Start to become aware of your thoughts. And then number five is just fucking do it. Change will happen. So the first in this next five steps. Judgment. Judgments are never positive. You can be discerning about what you want in your life, what you don't want in life, but judging is nonsense. When you judge yourself or judge others, you are creating negative thought patterns. So discernment is okay, as in what is healthy for me, what I would like to do in my life that is healthy, these choices are discernments. So when you judge others, you are doing damage to yourself. Always become aware of that. You will get a feeling in your gut that is not positive. It doesn't lead to healthy outcomes. Know that it's because we're feeling insecure that we judge others. So. When you catch yourself judging, either others or yourself, acknowledge or become aware of the fact that just because you're judging doesn't make you right. There is no right and wrong. We need to begin to take a non-dualistic or less judgmental view of the world because whatever we have convictions in or of, someone else feels just as strongly oppositely. We are just human beings with an opinion, so we need to become less judgmental in our opinion. We can stand for things, but it doesn't mean that we have to judge others as wrong just because we feel convicted about something. So less judgment, more acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean you agree. It just means you're willing to accept the fact that someone is one way and you are another. And um, that goes for self-judgment. Accepting where you are right now in life leads to healthy outcomes. When you judge yourself as being bad, then it keeps you in a cycle of negativity and repeating behaviors. Yes. When we create negative self-judgment, we establish or cement in negative cyclical repeating behaviors because we look for escape from our own self-loathing and judgment. And usually the escape is within addictive behaviors. So stop judging, start accepting. Write that down. Probable step number two is start to become aware of energy. Our energy tells us what is beneficial for us and what is detrimental to our health. Whether it is our uh, emotional health or our physical health, it's the same deal. So all you're going to do this week for step number two is to start to become aware. Now within this awareness, I want to draw your attention to the fact that uh, artificially energizing yourself through the use of either um, pharmaceutical drugs or cocaine or caffeine. Uh, those are artificial stimulants. So, you know, while I drink a cup of coffee in the morning and it gives me some energy, uh, my energy will tank if I don't get out and move my body. So the caffeine is artificial. Um, however, if I wake up in the morning, drink a cup of coffee, and then I go out and get some cardiovascular exercise, my energy never drops below baseline. So you have a baseline energy level, and you can experience spikes in that energy. But if you fall below baseline, meaning you get really fatigued or tired or depressed, 
um, depressed in energy, not necessarily in the mental state, although it could be, then you'll know that you are dropping below baseline. Become aware of what behaviors in your life give you positive amounts of energy that are sustained. So the ones that are dropping below baseline, just make a note of them. Maybe it's a certain food you're eating. Maybe it's someone you're interacting with depletes your energy when you have a conversation with them. It could just be the style of conversation you're having, or it could be the person in particular. So make a note of these things. You don't need to change them yet. This moment in time, can you hit the like button? Can you subscribe to the channel to support this effort that I am making and helping people achieve their best health, their best life outcomes, for free and the third in this next five steps is establishing follow through that's a hard one now we all have things in our life that we have to follow through with but usually um, we fall into patterns of only following through with the things that are absolutely necessary like getting up in the morning and going to a job or going to school uh, maybe making dinner it's important to know what is easy for you and what is more challenging and that is all you're doing this week is building awareness so write that down number three follow through and it may just be that you're taking notes on what is easy to follow through with and what is not, what is a challenge. Just note it. Step four in this week two of five steps to probable change. Whatever you do, write this down. Be kind. And that means to yourself and to others. Kindness is energizing. See, this is the key. <laughs> this is the awareness. What leads to more energy? Kindness leads to more energy. Being nice to others, having empathy. So change yourself and change your life. It all starts with the awareness. Not much in our lives will change if we don't master this next step. But this moment is leading to the next. And you could not have gotten here if it was not for all of the circumstances in your past okay so write this down forgive that's it forgiveness leads to feelings of empathy and healing i promise you when you don't forgive when you hold shame or blame or you blame others for your problems your circumstances you're making yourself sick you will want to probably make a note of all the things that you wish to forgive yourself for and all the things that you wish to forgive others for when you allow that to happen and you truly integrate it all of a sudden you become lighter and happier. You don't have the baggage of blame and shame on your shoulders anymore. Now you have this beautiful experience of letting go. You can let go of whatever happened in your past that does not serve your best mental and emotional and physical health. It will lead to total transformation. Once you realize there is nothing else to blame anybody or yourself for, forgive yourself and move the fuck on, okay? Just fucking do it. When you begin to change and you're changing the mind and you're changing your behaviors and so you're changing your outcomes. And I want to warn you that sometimes people around you will not accept these changes and they may fall out of your life. So I'm just setting you up for the understanding that because you are changing, some people will not accept that. And don't worry about it because you will attract other people to your lives that are beautiful and accepting and loving and kind and they will embody the same qualities that you are wanting to change for yourself okay so don't be alarmed when other people that you have known um, forever that have been in your life for a long time when they fall away and they will there will be some some will support you and they will accept your new changes but others even the people closest to you may decide that you are not for them because you're changing and they are not so this is not a warning as it's a bad thing it is actually a good thing although it may be painful I have had to experience this in my life as well but it's okay because I am so much better off than I was when you reflect back on relationships it's really important to understand that while we cling to some they don't necessarily offer us what's positive in our lives 
at any time. So it's okay to let go of relationships. When you begin to see people not wanting to spend time with you or not wanting to talk to you, um, maybe they're even talking behind your back or judging you, that's okay. That's the truth of all relationships. And, you know, I'm 50 now, so through a lifetime of uh, gathering friends and the ones that stuck by me that never faltered in our connection and that saw me through changes and accepted and embraced my changes, they are the valuable ones. The people that fall off, that go away, they don't want to talk to you anymore, it's because they themselves are not changing in their lives. But never depend on another person for your own transformation. If you put your success outside of your own personal growth and you are hoping that someone will do it with you, you will fail. Okay, because we can never put the responsibility of our personal transformation onto anybody else. It has to be a hundred percent us and only for us, and because we want to live our best lives. You will not even have to make decisions about what to change, it will just happen, and that includes people who want to be in your life. So, know that the people that want to be in your life. They are your truest supporters. They are your truest friends. The ones that do not, as they go on their way, you can forgive them, you can forgive yourself, and then let go, release that energy, and move on. Accept whatever changes happen once you begin your life transformation. Follow along, subscribe to the channel, like, and share the videos if you think other people will benefit. And I sure hope they do because change is inspiring. When other people see you change, they want to change too. And sign up for my email at yogamindenergybody.com. I will send you each week a reminder that the next five steps have been published with a PDF of the last five steps. So drop a comment below. Let us know how you're going through the steps, how it is for you, how your personal growth, or even just an increase in awareness of thoughts is going for you.